in the situational global, right, uh, the rupiah exchange rate against the US dollar. We know each other's, but right now it uh, 16, uh, 16 thousands and two hundreds is so high. How will they affect the electronic industry, particularly in the Beko products? Yeah, when I first came to Indonesia, it was around 14,000. Now it is, oh, we are seeing right. over okay. 16,000. Yes. But currency fluctuations are inherent aspect of global mm -hmm, business mm -hmm. operations. At Beko, we are full prepared to manage these fluctuations. Mm -hmm. We have established robust relationship with our suppliers and partners to mitigate the negative effects of the exchange rate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we, we are not, of course, supporting the very high exchange rate because of being an importer. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Your, your costs are mu much more related to uh, exchange rate system. So hopefully we will see better numbers mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, strategy to face the, the higher uh, in, uh, Interest rate, not interest rate, just a rupiah exchange rates against US dollar. What yes. is the Beko strategy for face it? So we prioritize mm -hmm. stability and predictability for our customers. So when we we do not know the, the change the pricing structure just because of a fluctuation on the product ex, the exchange rates. So what we do, we we do robust relationship with the with our partners. Mm -hmm. to, to mitigate the negative effects on the exchange rate. So mm -hmm. we do not mm -hmm. put our costing structure uh, mm -hmm. just by the change of uh, temporary uh, increase in our costing mm -hmm. structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we expect our customers to see our products as a consistent price levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, has the weakening of the rupiah exchange rate already affect uh, the price of uh, Beko cost? Uh, and is Beko to where implemented new pricing? Maybe you see that like that. Uh, how much it will affect it, its sales uh, potentials in that condition? Our commitment to delivering value and maintaining competitive prices mm -hmm. remains unchanged. The, this approach ensures our customers continue to receive high quality product at consistent mm -hmm. prices thus supporting our sales potential and market position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what kind of the regulations of incentive should uh, the government provide to support the electronics industry to respond uh, to the increasing of USD uh, Asians, especially? Beko is pleased with the government's decisive actions mm -hmm. promoting the energy efficiency program mm -hmm. in washing in refrigerators, air conditioners and rice cookers. Mm -hmm. However, we also believe there is a way to extend these benefits to another level. Mm -hmm. Just like washing machines, dishwashers, even uh, dryers, cooking appliances. Oh, okay. Because energy efficiency is not only taking down the cost of electricity bills, mm -hmm. but also preserve water. Mm -hmm. So that adds another layer of environmental sustainability. Mm -hmm. So if the government take action plans, to, to extend the efficiency program to mm -hmm. different product groups. I think it will be in beneficiary, beneficiary in both Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Also, it will allow to foster innovation, also drive the industry. So, plus, uh, moreover, in the flexibility in import regulations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially for the products that are not economically viable to, for local production, mm -hmm. If there could be more flexibility, I think it can increase the consumer spending, drive business growth, and foster innovation. Okay, uh, what kind of more uh, flexibility for res uh, for the regulation in the back on site? So the in Indonesia, you have Indonesia government have uh, for several product groups uh, very high standards of. Uh, application, mm -hmm. which is quite costly and taking so long time. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to buy a kettle in mm -hmm. Indonesia, even there is not a local production. Okay. So doing the, all the certification process is quite tough for suppliers. Mm -hmm. So you can find only very basic products in the market instead of bringing good quality products. The Indonesian consumers only allow to get maybe it's very basic mm -hmm, machines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this type of flexibilities 
mm. can help uh, people to reach better products, more energy yes, efficient yes. products. Okay, energy efficiency products. So how is uh, Becca business so far in 2024? What is challenge in the company uh, currently facing in 2024? 2023 and the first half of 2024 has been uh, pivotal for both internationally and in Indonesia. The definitive contribution agreement between Beko BV and Whirlpool Holding mm -hmm. has led to successful creation of Beko Europe. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, we have demonstrated strong performance. Our profitability and turno uh, turnover has increased significantly compared to last year, even though we have witnessed a 10% decrease in the overall industry. Okay. Okay. We have expanded our presence, closing the year with over 500 stores nationwide selling mm. Beko products. Mm -hmm. This growth reflects our dedication to Indonesian market. Mm 